Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a New Year's Eve tutorial. Basically just some nice eyeshadow um, for, the, for your New Year's Eve. Anyway, I'm using my Jackie Anna palette today for the first time ever. I'm really excited. As you can see, I dropped the brush, but that doesn't matter. So the first thing that I'm going to do before I start my eyeshadow is prime my eyelids with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in shade 6. Um, I just want to do this to cancel out any discoloration on my eyelids so that we look smooth and put together. So the first brush I'm going to use is a BH Cosmetics number no. 5 brush and I'm going to be using that to tap into the shade Ginger. And basically I'm just going to start blending this all over my eyelid. I think it's a good like base color, transition color, whatever you want to call it. I just like the way that it looks, um, especially because I'm going to be putting a darker color on top of it. So I've just been blending that out on both of my eyes. For some reason, I don't know why, but I always feel like I have more eyeshadow on one eye than the other eye. So I obviously struggle with blending. That's why I don't do eyeshadow as often in all of my videos. But I'm just going to keep blending with this big fluffy brush. As you can see, I wiped off some of the excess shadow so that I could just have a clean blend and have everything look good. So the next brush I'm using is a BH Cosmetics number no. 7 brush. It's just a more defined blending brush, and I'm going to be using that and tapping into Credit, which is like a chocolatey brown color. And at first, I started packing this slash blending it onto my lash line. I didn't really know what I was trying to go for. I knew that I wanted the look to be dark, um, but I felt like starting on the lash line gave it a good base. As I started doing that, I then went into like my outer V and started blending it into there and up into my crease about at the halfway point. So I just kept doing this for quite some time. Personally, I don't really do eyeshadow very often, but usually when I do, it's kind of dark. Um, I like dark eyeshadow for specific events, especially something like New Year's Eve where it's already going to be dark and it's just like a nice sultry look. So I just keep building up credit onto my outer V, blending it and then wiping off the excess of the bra off the brush and then tapping more into credit and just keep blending. And really it's just about taking your time, finding the specific color payoff that you want exactly how you want the eyeshadow to look and for me I wanted it to be dark so I just kept going in with my number seven smaller blending brush and then occasionally I would go in with my big fluffy blending brush and just start to blend everything out just so it looked more seamless um right now I tapped into credit a little bit more just to soften um the harsh edges so that it wouldn't be so defined and so dark. Then I'm going back in with credit again and just packing more of that on my lash line and blending up and outward, kind of like a liner in place of that. And I just kept doing that. And as you can see, the look starts to get pretty dark. This is what I was going for. Like I said, Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year's Eve, all that stuff. Some nice dark eyeshadow is good for the occasion. So yeah, I'm just going to keep blending all of this. <laughs> it took me a really long time. So yeah. And then after that, I take Lituation, which is a nice sparkly shade. And I just put it on with my finger. Just start packing this on and blending it out. I usually start with like the inner part of my eye, the inner half. And then I blend to the outer. Um, I know most people don't like glitter on their like outer corner but I mean to me it doesn't really matter I just like the overall look of it so I just kept blending that out and adding more because you know who doesn't like glitz and glam on New Year's Eve so I just kept packing lituation on that's like my favorite color in this whole palette I've used this palette before I just have never used it on camera so yeah I just keep packing it on, blending it out, going back in with my fluffy bit blending brush, tapping into ginger, 
and just making everything seem cohesive and blendable and look nice. Obviously wiping off the excess just so that I can have a clean brush, a clean blend, and everything just looks smooth. So now I'm taking a makeup wipe, just cleaning up all of the excess powder. Fallout doesn't really bother me. I mean, good eyeshadows have pigment. So you can expect some fallout, but nothing too crazy. So I'm just going to wipe that off, clean up my eyes into the shape that I want them to look like. And I had some glitter under my eyes, but you know, that's fine. Now I'm going to go in with my moisturizer slash um, primer. And this is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty in the mango scent. And I'm just putting this all over my face. It smells so good. I love this moisturizer. It is so good. So now I'm going to take my Bare Minerals brush. This is a powder brush, but I use it with liquid foundation. I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin foundation in shade 6 and then my Maybelline 24 hour super stay foundation in shade 332 and I'm just blending all of this out to my liking just building it up and honestly when I do heavier eyeshadow I always do a heavier base so I'm gonna do all of that and I had a foundation on my hand so I needed to wipe it off because I'm just a weirdo and I don't like stuff like that Obviously, I'm still looking for a concealer that I like, so I just go back in with the, my lighter foundation shade, the Urban Decay one, and I just put that on the Beauty Blender and blend it in under my eyes just like it's regular concealer, um, but that's just me. I haven't found a concealer that I like. And then I just blend out um, all over my face with the Beauty Blender just in case there were some brush marks and all of that stuff. The next thing I'm going in with is my NYX Finishing Powder. Um, this is in the shade Banana. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I love to pack powder under my eyes. It doesn't help with creasing for me. I always have creases, but um, I just like the way it looks. Um, and then since this is a New Year's Eve get ready with me, I decided to bake um, right under where my contour would normally go just because I think it looks good, it defines the contour more, but I don't leave it on for too long, just for a little bit, and then I just start to wipe away my bake. I don't really let it sit and bake, I just use it for setting purposes, and it really just lightens the under eye and makes it look nice and clean. So the next thing I'm going in with is my Babylon City Bronzer in 300. This bronzer is way too bronzy for me right now. I'm very pale at the moment, and I for sure need to get a lighter one. It's just I'm too lazy to go to the store to get one. So I'm just blending it out to the best of my ability. Making myself look kind of bronzy and glowy. Like I've been to the beach, but I really haven't. And then if you've also been watching my videos, I do my nose contour. Not really contouring. And then I'm going in with this blush. This is a new blush. I don't know what it's called. Hi Cara? I don't know. Um, but it's in the shade Wine. I really like it. It's a nice little color, and I just put that on my cheeks, nose, just everywhere to make it seem blendable. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline setting spray. This is the matte setting spray, and just setting my face, and then going in with the Beauty Blender, just to make sure everything is blended and looks nice and clean. Now, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Rose Gold Highlighter. And I love this highlighter. I used to not be a highlighter person, but you know, I've hopped back onto the trend of it. I like some glowy skin now and then. So I just put this on my um, cheeks, under my eyebrow, on my nose, usually right above um, my eyebrow, just as like a good little moment. And I blend that out. Then I'm taking a makeup wipe, wiping off all the foundation on my lips because I hate that, and off of my nose ring. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f brow gel and I don't really do anything to my brows I just set them in place I think my brows look pretty full so I just do this as an easy step and then I'm going to go in with credit again and blend that onto my lower lash line just to add some more depth and drama to the look and I feel like it looks funny if you don't have anything on your bottom lash line when you're doing a makeup look like this now I'm going in with my essence mascara this mascara is super old and I've had it for a really long time, but <laughs> obviously I'm not going to buy a new one. 
and I've just been putting this on my top lashes and bottom lashes. Normally, I would try to use fake eyelashes, but um, I didn't have any with me, so I just stuck with the regular old mascara. And I'm applying this to my bottom lashes as well. The next thing that I'm going to do is go in with Trust Issues. And I'm just going to use this as my inner corner highlight. Um, I've been watching Jackie Ina a lot, so I just go in with this because she has a nice inner corner highlight. And you know, if I'm using her palette, I have to rep her. And now I'm just taking down my hair and fluffing it all out, making myself look good. I hope you guys like this video, and thanks for watching.